old churches, they really are beautiful buildings. And in a way, it fits in with the point of our road test today. I'm talking about how car models grow old, and some of them grow old a lot better than others. This is the Mondeo. It's about to be replaced by a sparkly all-new model. But for my view, this is still a stylish looking car and is the perfect example of how cars can age very well. Yes, the all-new Mondeo has got a very shiny new, almost Aston Martin face. But I tell you what, when you look at this, and admittedly this is a Titanium X Sport version, this to me is still a dramatic good looking car. It doesn't look old. You know, it's a bit like me probably. It's aged really well and looks far younger than it actually is. The Mondeo cabin. Now this is what I call an interesting place to travel in. This is the Titanium Sport, so it gets extras compared to your standard models. I really like the sport seats. You've got a beautiful mixture of Alcantara suede, half leather. I also like the carbon fiber trim the piano black around the centre console. It has got a really nice sporty feel to it inside here. This is a place that you'll be impressed to get your mates and your family travelling in with. It's very much like your mobile phone here. There is no shortage of switches. If you like buttons, you'll be in heaven in the Mondeo because you have a bank of switches. It's a bit like being in the pilot seat in an aeroplane. You've got various dials here again, easy access use for your cruise control, radio, music system, and all of your data information. You wouldn't believe that I was a rough, tough Geordie, but I love heated seats, and just look at this. I've now got them on maximum red. Check that out. Not only is the boot on the Mondale huge, but you have split-folding rear seats, Put them both down and you turn this into a mini estate car. If you're looking for practicality, this car has got oodles of it. If you think that Mondeo are all the same, you'd be very much wrong. What I like about this Titanium Sport is, look at that for a set of alloys. They really are smart and they just give that car the extra lift, as does the double exhaust at the back. This may well be Mondeo Man, but this is Mondeo Man with a sporting edge. Mondeo Man always had the reputation among company car drivers of having the best driver's car. And just a couple of minutes behind the wheel reminds you of why that is true. There's just an agility about a Mondeo that none of its rivals can really match. Ford have done a great job in making a car that steers, handles really well. This drives more like a hot hatch for actual control. It really is a car where you get a nice dose of the fun factor. Ford have consistently updated the range of engines offered in the Mondeo, both the petrol and diesel. I'm driving today the 2.2 diesel, which really is a bit of a flying machine as far as diesels go. It's got bags of power and yet it's still economical you can still get between 55 and just over 60 depending on how you drive it. The other thing Ford have got a deserved reputation for is their gearboxes. They are among the very best in the business and this is a sweet six-speed gearbox that again adds to the really enjoyable driving package you get with the Mondeo. Just a short journey in the Mondeo confirms what I already knew that this is really the driver's package when you come to the big family car. If you're looking for a car that's got enjoyment as well as practicality, look no further. There may be an all new Mondeo coming, but let me tell you, having spent a morning with this current model, there's a whole lot to recommend this car still as a tremendous buy. It's a great driving car, it's a totally practical car. For me, it still looks good. And you know what happens when you get a brand new car? It costs a lot of money. And this car will be even more competitively priced. If you're looking for a big family car and don't want the very latest fashion statement, have a drive of a Ford Mondeo. You'll be very, very pleasantly surprised.